Okay, let's say you were with someone who wasn't as deep, who wasn't as analytical, who didn't see these things. Do you think you would be able to, now that you had a taste for this, if you were just a person who was just as logical as you, who was very like, everything was like very technical, very this, that, and third. I already have figured out. If tomorrow something doesn't work out, I will be that person, female walking the streets with male mentality. And I'm not saying because I was with the, a man, whatever. The reason I would carry a male mentality is because there's something in me that naturally just comes out. If I smell weakness in a male, I will explore it and I would just feast on it like a freaking leech. I will, I will literally do that. So but why, why, why is it? I, I don't know what it is. It's it's almost like disdain for weak men. Mm. And when I say, you know what it is? It's, it's like in nature. There's some uh, a female and male species where females are the one that feasting on the goddamn male. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm that species. And I'm not saying, because, like prime example. I love to dance when I was in the kid. I remember this so clearly because I still carry the guilt, right? There was a dance we were supposed to do in a kindergarten. They paired us up. I'm big on dancing. I'm in ballroom dance school, right? I'm going to competitions. We've been paired up. I'm a freaking kid. I'm like five, four years old. I remember this, five, like five maybe. We are paired up. I want to be paired up with this guy or this guy because I knew they can dance and I shall shine because they are the ones that know what the hell is going on. I get the paired guy with the tall nerd. Now my limelight is going to be taken away. I will say something to him and he will cry. That's what kind of nerd I'm dealing with. Well, guess what? I'm ready to dance. He is not doing jack. I pinched him so hard he was crying and then I was standing there and like being all upset because this is just bullshit as a kid so you can even tell I carry guilt because I make him cry but I do not carry guilt of me no 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 like the kid I say I I I I Sad for the kid because I made him cry because I felt like that act was mean. I do understand it. But at the same time, on the other hand, I'm almost not sad because, yo, you're supposed to be dancing. You're supposed to be man. And we're supposed to be doing this thing. And you make me all embarrassed. And this is my moment. It's room Because I was supposed to dance with them. That's, that's where I'm supposed to be. And I'm like stuck with you. But my point is, at age four and five, it was already there. You see what I'm saying? So, and when I say weak men, I'm not necessarily talk about body types, muscles, or anything like that. I'm talking about a male kind of essence. You see what I'm saying? So, if I would ever, let's say, break up with you tomorrow, I will be that female that like, and by the way, don't call me because I saved your phone number as do not answer. <laughs> like, I would be that person. You see what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be, like, if, if you would send me a neck, after two, let's say I would go on a date with you and two days later you would send me a text message and say, oh, how come you didn't call me? I'm like, done, erase the number. Like, I don't need to be policed while I didn't freaking text you back in like 30 seconds. Like, yeah, no, no. Like, not doing that. Like, I have matured to the point that I don't, I don't have energy to deal with any of it remotely. Like I cannot see myself being like 45, 50 years old, answering a text message from a dude asking me like, why you didn't text me back? I just like, no, no. It's my job to ask you why you don't text me back. I'm the chick. Okay. So just like be the man. So okay, but so what is what is it about me that actually tames that part of you and that doesn't allow you to go there? When, come, let's be honest. When I have ex explored little uh, openings of weakness, man, I had a like a cobra teeth here, putting poison in my neck and telling me, "Do you want me to put more poison in here?" <laughs> And at that point, I've become that, that person that goes like, huh, huh, all right, you're good to go. <laughs> you got going on. You can handle me. Okay, good, good. <laughs> like, that's the dynamic that I am experiencing. Like, 
it's 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 the same as a lot of other females, especially now when females take so many roles of some kind of established roles of leadership and things like that. To get a man that is equal to come by is getting difficult, right? Because the social dynamic of you being that nurturing person, you're not that person. You're that dynamic, that that, that masculine person over here. So you can't have two. How can I say? I, I feel like always one is more submissive than the other, but it's in a way that it works in a team. It's not undermining the one is better than the other. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know that there are moments when I tell you and you're like, that's cool. And at that point, I'm like, see, my female thing worked on a man. You know what I mean? And vice versa, that male energy, oh, like... It's, it's like a checks and balances. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So when I feel like that I am the only one doing the checks and you the balance, you are the balance. Uh, I shall find me somebody else and you can weep over <laughs> there. Like, I feel that's the thing, you know? I almost feel like I found somebody who can like put, put me in, in, a, in an area where I'm just not like all over the place feasting on carcasses, you know, <laughs> because you admit yourself, I could be sometimes like, I'm Americanized, I'm actually very nice right now, but there was a time like, I could be like freaking so freaking mean to people, but I'm, I, I don't think I'm mean in a sense of like, you useless, you shall die tomorrow, you have no purpose in this life and I shall say so, I'm the God, not from that standpoint, I come from the standpoint like, like, don't be weak, you know what I mean? It's like, it will, it will get better for you, just, just do it, like. And then I think that I'm using to be mean towards you to kind of wake you up, like, you know, let's go, get up. It's like my pup, like the puppy was trying to come and I was like, oh, see? So it, it, it's funny because... It's, it's the dynamic. No, because it's like, and that's, and I, I find that, like, I take that approach too. But I find it like if you were to be on these forums and you would be met with the people like I had to deal with who would tell you, oh no, go away, we need time to heal, you'd probably be more upset. Like, no, I would I would get worse. I would be like, give me my pink underwear back, you freaking you piece of little wussy wussy whatever. Who the hell how old are you? Is 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 this your little sister typing? <laughs> Your little sister typing for you, get up. <laughs> like, I would never be able to be, I would go to town with you. I, and the worst part about it is, it's almost entertaining. Okay. That's why I don't go to these forums okay. because okay. But this I'm, is. No, but I'm curious though, because obviously we've been so long, so you know that I have a side of me very patient, very mild, because obviously I can do it with them. Like you, you care for this. Yeah, but but how is it that I, I'm curious about the dynamic now of how you don't try to exploit that more out of me. What do you mean? Like because you know how I can be very kind, very this, very that. So I'm surprised how you don't. I don't have a benefit in it because if I do that, then I will ruin the good thing I have going for me. Like why would I do that? See, see. It's like a, okay, but then okay, then what about the women who do that? Then what? Mm -hmm. what why do you think they do that? Then because obviously the women. No, that. it's um, I, I believe everything is masculine and feminine energy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if that energy that's supposed to be feminine is now transforming into the masculine and now taking a man who's I guess supposed to, I'm not saying in all relationships inside a relationship they were perfectly by female being the masculine energy and men being the feminine energy and he still does all male functions and the female still does all the female functions what I'm saying is the balance of energy is there I believe I truly believe, let's say if you get a, get a gay couple of females, you notice how one is always feminine and one's all masculine. Yeah. You have to have these two energies to make the world go around. There's a reason why those two always kind of find each other and stay with each other. You see what I'm saying? And I, I uh, oh shit, where is going with this? But what I'm saying is, the so I think other females start exploiting that if they have something to take out of it. Mm -hmm. And 
let's be just honest. Some females do that because they're not interested in the greater good of the family function, interested in greater good of a social status for themselves, interested of um, uh, how they appear in the eyes of their, their her family or somebody else's family, you know, like there are a lot of other, you know, reasons why people do what they do. We have a good thing going because we have a cohesive function as a family, you know, as we are and, you know, everything works out. The wheels are spinning and they get oiled. So why do I go and put a stick in the wheel? You know what I mean? Yeah. I have no interest. So you can no. see that thing. Let me ask a question because I think what I'll do, I'll go ahead and take this last segment and create another video hmm. on its own. What do you think about, because my thing about, and it's only six minutes, seven minutes, this whole, and I made, I made a, a video with regards to the whole men going their own way. I feel that, again, this is not to undermine, I feel that if you go your own, you go your, your, your own way, that's fine. You go your, men go their own way and they, you know, exclude themselves and they, you know, remove themselves from interacting with females because they want to find a purpose and they, whatever, I get mm -hmm. that. But what do you think, and not to undermine, because then I'm in the business of undermining mm -hmm. that culture, because mm -hmm. that's just our culture, but just give a perspective. My perspective, right, is that I am not that, but then you don't go the own way, um, but I feel that the world, especially through social media, has divided so many of us that we've created so many subdivisions. Yeah, too many parties. And even within men, men going their own way, you have level one to level four. So level one is like, yeah, I can And do how it. far is going to divide? So then the first level is going to have sub, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like these type of things always result to what? Their own eating carcasses of their own. And what I mean by that is like, LTBG whatever uh, community, mm -hmm. right? How many years ago when they just started with all this, who predicted like, man, once there's gonna be some kind of a gay parade and uh, this type of people gonna show up to this gay parade and then they're gonna say, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you not, no, 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 don't get the rest of us conflicted now, like, boom, eating their own carcasses. Like, why don't we just all get along? Don't, you know, America is the most accepting of everything. That but, hold on, but, 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 with regards to that whole issue, though, mm -hmm. I find that I also understand. Where's that coming from? In America, you know why? Because a lot of people would die to have a wife or to have a significant other who express themselves like you. Who can be like, yeah, I can be like this, but at the same time, I respect, you know, my man, I respect the masculine and the feminine energy, and that, whereas a lot of, unfortunately, women today, especially in America, they tend to grapple with this masculine energy where they've gone to school and they've been educated, because I said before, men, we haven't had to change. We stay the same way. Women haven't had to change, which is a good thing, nothing wrong with it with that mm -hmm. but there's a consequence to all this change it, it disrupts the certain balance yeah that... so then now mm -hmm. it becomes now oh I'm 30 years old I've you know uh, I've uh, let me call it again I've um, I've gone through all these years of seeking you know a way to progress myself in education in my career and all this now I'm ready to settle you see that online but then it's like, bro, Too late. you don't realize, but they don't realize. You know what it is? It's it's funny you say that. Because and as we know, the men be like, dude, I can't deal with you because you're not. I think a lot has to do, why? Have you ever questioned why in other cultures where uh, the families put together, you know, who should marry who? You kind of naturally did not pick, right? Yeah. But... There are a lot of those marriages that don't work and work happily. Mm. And I think one of the reasons they work and work happily because people were forced 
into growing together. So I think a lot of couples that stick it out when they were together young last the longest. And what I mean by that is if you see majority of couples that let's say were sweethearts in high school or yeah, university, sure. they the ones that last because those are the ones that got together young and just grew together, grew, 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 and they now grow in so that they become like one, like they tight, you know what I mean? And um, when I was working at um, for one hospital for their outreach programs, so uh, that were to do a lot of with health and female health and first aid and all those type of things. They run statistics of the females that go through the um, uh, maternity kind of education. They kind of follow, you know, um, things. So data gets gathered and things like that. And so many females were having their first child late 30s, early 40s, a lot. So, and there were some other statistics uh, that I, I didn't get that from working there, but I got it uh, from somewhere else, is that a lot of females that become successful, usually that happens in between 30s, 40s, 45s. So now they reach that goal when they have like accomplished this. But guess what? They did not accomplish that uh, female side of children and family, but now they're ready. But now it's one of those, like, it's too late. Why do all these females talk about freezing eggs? And that's why. Because they're not going into the family life and children life of the age when it's kind of naturally should be, right? That range, they kind of do the career and then they start branching out. But now your personality, you settled in your ways. Like you said, the threshold was there. Now the threshold has reached, but now it's not declining and now you want it. But now it's like uh, time's up. Not just in a sense of children, in a sense of uh, having kids, in a sense of like growing into with somebody yeah. you know what i mean it becomes really hard at a certain age just to i think the age has to do with this like uh, social dynamics and all these females get crazy about like you know all these me too movements like oh he molesting this molesting that he looked at me wrong way at the job like men you literally have to have other people in the room with you when you're female or make sure they keep the door open while conducting business with you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So if men are now entering this kind of stage, are you surprised that the men don't want to deal with you? Are you surprised that men, they when they meet you and you're 40 years old, go on a date, they deal with your freaking um, aggressive, you know, world where you just made yourself you know and then they not getting that female aspect out of you well then you're not serving your female purpose for me you know which is nurturing calming down um you know offering you know female voices are softer you know men relate to that um uh, touching skin is softer there's like there's so many things that, that we we just not logical people we are uh, like animals we pick uh, you know off of body types hair colors yeah. things you wear and i'm saying so men branching out i'm not honestly i'm not surprised but at the same time if the females are becoming those uh, aggressive family heads like you say man gets cut out of the picture and then the female raises a male in that female stage then you wonder why all these males start get, getting like into, you know, all these uh, sexual issues that they have, you know. And, well, because the female was trying to raise you as a male and she can't do it. It's just impossible. She's not a male. Female cannot tell you how to be a male. 